Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed on this terrific Tuesday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light and may blessings are yet to come for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you and many are yet to come in love and light. And if you can, please like and subscribe and even hit that notification button so you won't know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you have heard, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love positive feedback. And for my returning subs, thank you for the love and support and many blessings and love and light. And namaste to you and many blessings are yet to come. Go ahead and double that up. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Let your soul shine. Be unstoppable. Today, I am listening to pure, clean, positive energy, vibration, meditation music. It's so zenful. You know, I, it was like one of those weekends, like, it was the time to reflect. Um, when you're going through things, I know it becomes hard. And it's like, you know, I don't know if it's just me or I'm having like a New Year's funk because it's like it's starting off kind of yeah you know kind of messed up not messed up but you know it's not yet positive or yet negative you know what i'm saying it's just like right in the middle and you you know you're figuring things out like you know this is gonna be your year you know something good is gonna come out of something you know you striving and trying to be a better person and you reflect on the stuff that you went through last year and there's some things that were prosperous and some things were a lesson and some of them were a blessing you know, and I, I tend to get emotional because it's just the fact is I reflect on things that I went through in my past. You know, if you've been on this journey with me since the beginning, it's almost by the 22nd, it'll be a year. And I'm just like so proud of myself because I feel like I've grown a lot. And it was like you if you see me from my first videos, you can see me at my my um, happiest moments, my confused moments. And I'm just like what the uh moments you know and it was just so hard that i would not wish that on my worst enemy and i can reflect on that and it's just like you know when you can't trust family and it's just like family has hid something from you that you you know you basically lived out your worst fear because it's like when i found out i was adopted i told my family like the, my worst fear is to walk around and know one of my family members and not actually get a chance to meet them before one of us passed, you know, that, that would be something that was heart wrenching. And that was something I had to deal with every day. And it became to the point where, you know, everything was coming at me all at once. But I had to feel like, you know, God's not going to put nothing on you you can't handle. And it might be something you're like, you know, I can't deal with this. And there's sometimes I have to ask him, let me take a break. You know, I do my light working, trying to push out love and light and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know what, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. It, it's because it, it became too much when you're having, you know, that's when you know you're you're coming stronger because you tend to get more, you, you'll get tested. If you know when you're going through something and it seems like you get over one hump, something else come popping at you. And it's not just to punish you. And it's just like sometimes we, us as people, individuals, we'll sit up here and just like, oh, what else can go wrong and stuff like that. It's like the world is not reacting to us you know it's not happening to us it's reacting to us it's reacting to the things that we put out and i said i know i can do it <clears throat> i i can admit my faults on that so when you're going through something let your heart shine let your soul shine don't sit up here and allow your past to stop you from being a better person for tomorrow don't do that because the worst thing you want to do is give up and live in that world of regret because there's so many times it's just like i can't really look on the past and change it because there's nothing i can do because there's so many times memories come up especially i've been meditating a lot so i've been getting really emotional and it is as soon as i said that that light just flickered on me i've been getting really emotional and um and it was just like you know god i i can't deal with this you know I mean, I'm truly, really trying to make sense of what I'm doing here. I know I'm healing and I'm helping other people heal and I see the goodness out of the things that I do, but it's just like, why do I hurt so much? Why did, you know, 
my dad had to move on and I never got a chance to even interact with him. You know, my family kept me away or whatever. And it's just like everything has a purpose. Everything has a meaning. It's not there to punish you. It's, it's for the ultimate love. The world needs to know. It's like you have to let your heart, you know, your heart and your soul shine. You know, let let people see the real you. Let them know, you know, things are going to be better. And I say a lot of times in my videos, we are going through so much and it's going to get better. It's just we're just being tested to see how much strength we have. What what fight are we willing to fight? What are we not going to give up on? Because it's just like when we want things handed to us and things are not going to be handed to us when we want it. It's not. It's just, it's going to be on divine timing when you least expect it. And there's times I just like, you know, I push out videos. I push out love and light. I say blessings, you know, and I try to be nice to the people that, you know, go out their way to harm me or, you know, try to do something that upset me. I try to be nice. And it's just like, why do the more good I do, the more, you know, jacked up things that happen. It's just like everything is for a test to make you stronger because you never know what you're going to have to deal with once everything comes aligned. So, guys, it's like when you go through something, do not let, you know, what people say or, you know, how you, you try not to react to the things that, you know, it could be ignorant or it could be short or it could be miscommunication. Just, you know, let it go. Because, I, I mean, it takes too much energy. It takes way, way, way too much energy for you to have to really deal with anything. And it's just like I've been meditating all day and I just feel like I'm walking on cloud nine. And I'm just like you know what, you're going to be unstoppable, <laughs> you are not going to allow, you know, what happened to you in the past, you know, hold you back from what you need to do today, because it's just like, when I can look at my comments and all this, and I know when people can say, you know, they can relate to what I'm talking about, or I get an email, and, you know, people tell me how they inspired and I motivate them for the videos that I'm doing and don't stop what I'm doing. It really makes me feel good. So that lets me know, you know what, be grateful for the little things because you know it's leading up to bigger things. So it's just like when things seem too small and it's just like we gotta be grateful for the little things, the little blessings that we're getting because by that time when we start appreciating the little things, that's when the big things start to come. So I'm not trying to sit here and preach to you guys. It was just I was feeling some type of way and I felt like I needed to make a video. I was just like, you meditated, you feel good, you feel right, you feel zenful. So make a video, push that love and push that positive vibes out. And you know, because so many people need it. You know, you, you might need a little pick me up. You might need that little, that boost. You know what? You, you got this. You might be going through some stuff right about now. But trust me, your current situation is never your final destination. Remember that. Remember that I have to tell myself that every day. Just because you might be living through a hell right now don't mean that you ain't going to wake up and have, you know, a nice big, you know, like it was all a nightmare. All it was was a big nightmare and you just had to wake up out of that coma. You know, <laughs> it's going to be something like that. But yeah, guys, I'm not trying to hold you up today. Remember, but your final, your current situation is not your final destination. Just remember that. Just think positive. No matter how hard it gets, just breathe, you know, meditate, pray. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna put this lady's um link. I, I forgot her name, um, Universal Miracles, and her name is Reverend Maria. And I can't, God forgive me, because I can't pronounce her last name, but I'm gonna go ahead and put her link down below. She does so many good prayers, and I've been listening to hers too. She does them from the Twin Flame prayer to you know, you're trying to find a job in the next few days, and uh, trying to get rid of past hurt, trying to become oneness. I mean, she really has some really good prayers that you say for a few days. And it's just like the more days I say, the more things I feel shifting. It makes me feel so much better. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. And I hope everybody stay blessed. I'm going to pray for you guys, keep you guys in my prayers. And I hope you do the same for me. And much love to you. And please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button when you, uh, you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like I deserve a thumbs up, please give me a thumbs up. Or even drop me a line. I love to hear positive feedback. So I will talk to you guys later. Much love. Be safe. I'll keep in my prayers. And much love and light and namaste to you. And many blessings are yet to come. Peace and be wild.